Okay, so the third type of sequence for matric is the, <clears throat> the quadratic sequence. So the formula at the back um, for quadratic sequence, I'm not sure if they show you, but it's really easy to remember because there is some formulas that you need to remember for a quadratic sequence. Um, Okay, so the formula for it is Tn equals An squared plus Bn plus C. So remember when we were solving for quadratics, Ax squared plus Bx plus C, this quadratic sequence uses exactly the same formula as that. So it's pretty easy to remember. And then there's a couple of other formulas that you need to remember as well, which we'll look at. So the first thing we do in <clears throat> identifying um, what type of sequence is we usually find the first difference. Okay, so 57 minus 34 <clears throat> is 23. 34 minus 17 is 17, and 17 minus 6 is 11. So we can rule out arithmetic sequence because we know there's no common first difference. And if we put these ratios over each other to check if it's an arithmetic, uh, a, quite a geometric sequence, 57 over 34 with our R is equal to and we try 34 over 17. We get that that one's two, and 57 over 34 does not equal two. So we rule out <coughs> geometric, geometric sequence. So we've looked at the first difference and the ratio, we haven't got a common one. So now we can check the second difference to see will that give us a common second difference when, when we enter it in. So 23 minus 17 is 6, 17 minus 11 is 6. So now we can confirm that this is a quadratic sequence. And so now we can calculate the general formula of that sequence. So one of the most important things to learn for sequences and series are these formulas. Because the other formulas they give you in the back, but this one they don't give you, so we have to remember it. So the first thing we know is that this first number, A, this number is, when we look at A, it doesn't mean the first number. A actually is something that we need to calculate. So we use this formula. Um, A plus B plus C equals this first term here. So this first term is equal to A plus B plus C. So what you have to remember, very important, is this. A plus B plus C equals this T1 here. Then the next thing you need to remember is 2a plus, uh, sorry, not 2a plus, don't learn, learn the mistake, 3a plus b equals this first number on the second row.
and then the bottom, this bottom number is equal to 2a. So if you remember these three formulas, the first row, a plus b plus c, the second row, 3a plus b, and the third row, 2a, then you'll be fine with this quadratic uh, sequences. And I think a lot of people battle with the quadratic sequences because somewhere in class, the teacher showed them this and then they forgot it. And then they looked at a quadratic sequence and they thought, oh, I have no idea how to do this. But it's really just as simple as remembering these because once you remember these and you know them off by heart, you can sub them in. So let's do the first one. So 2a equals 6, so a equals 3. Then you take that a and you put it into the next one. So 3 times the a that we calculated is 3, plus b equals 11. And so b equals 11 minus 9, which is 2. And finally, the last one was to get our c. So it's a was 3, b was 2, and we need to work out c, and that's equal to 6. And so we see that C is equal to six minus five, which is one. And so this formula here, all we're trying to do is to figure out what A, B, and C are. And we can do that using these formulas that we remember. And so then we could use our, put that into these into our final formula. So Tn is equal to three, plus 2n plus 1. Obviously, you're not going to write your final answer in all these colors. You'll just say tn equals 3n squared plus 2n plus 1. And you can use this now to calculate, say, the seventh term. All you would do is you would say t7 equals 3, 7 squared plus 2 times 7 plus 1. Okay, and you, could, you don't even need to uh, work this out in your head. It's not too bad because it's 3 times 49, which is 147, and 2 times 7 is 14. 1, and it's 162. But you don't need to do all this. You could just simply put that into your calculator. And so we know if they asked you T7, that would be 162. Okay, so that's quadratic sequences. Okay, great.